Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Queens. Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am so excited because we are filming the Tres Lucis Beauty I Am Eyeshadow Palette Review, Queens. Y'all know I am so obsessed with Becky G and I am so ready to shoot this video, y'all. I am just so excited. I have the box right over here. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful box. I'm so excited to film everyone. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, Queens. And if you're back to the channel, hello, how are you? My name is Brooks the Queen, as I said in the beginning. And Queens, I'm so excited to be filming this review. I just want to say real quick, thank you so much for the love and support on my YouTube channel this past couple of weeks because it has been so high and y'all are just loving me. So thank you so much. I'm spreading y'all all positivity and the positivity you've been giving me is making me spread more. And so I'm so excited for y'all. So Queens, I love you so much. If you are ready to get into the Tres Lucis Beauty I Am Eyeshadow Palette Review, I'm so excited to get into it because y'all know how much I love Becky G and she is just the ultimate queen. And when I heard that she was making a beauty brand, I said, yes, another Latina queen slaying the beauty community. We need more Latina queens in this beauty community. So queens, let's get into the review. Hit the intro. Okay, and we are zoomed in, queens. OMG. So we are now sitting down, about to film. I just hit the intro, if y'all know. Y'all love my intro, and I know I love my intro. But here is the eyeshadow palette component cartonage. What is this? This is the, you know, little component box that comes in. It says, Tres Lucis Beauty, the I Am Palette. It is a weight of 17 Gs and then 0.59 OZs. And it is like... I don't know. It says on the back of the packaging, the Deslusa is my love letter to you as a reminder that you are beautiful without limits. It is my hope that the Deslusa will inspire each individual to create a look of art that will ignite their being. Honor your self-expression through this celebration of color. And it also says it in Spanish and it's all back here. I will say this is a lot of ingredients in here, babes. Like this is a, this is a little, you know, scary to read as, you know, the normal see consumer, but for me, it's just normal to me. And it says a, Collection of 18 rich matte and shimmer infused Mexican blue engraved vegan eyeshadow palette delivers magic with every swipe of a positive affirmation comes with the most with a removable keep snake mirror. Oh, so the mirror is removable. And then it comes with this little card. This says Becky G. I think she looks so gorgeous in this campaign. Whoever drew this for her is like amazing. But it says, Let's lose this beauty with Becky G's face. And it says, thank you. It says, I'll read it from here. Thank you so much for your purchase. I'm so grateful that you are here joining the Tres Luces Beauty Familia. It means so much to me. I can't wait to see all the beautiful looks you'll be inspired to create. Make sure to share them on our social medias and tag Tres Luces Beauty. And it says, kisses. And it says, sign from Becky G. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So when you pull the palette out of the component, it comes like this. Beautiful packaging, I love it. Actually came in like eco-friendly packaging and it had a, another one of these on it. Jacqueline came in it too, so I was like, mm, kind of fun. I don't know what this is, but very fun. But here is the palette. It says this Lucis Beauty on it and is the I Am palette. It comes with the same packaging that the card comes with and she has her little earrings and looks gorgeous and she's using the greens. Oh, should we use the greens? But the palette comes like this. Very, very fun. It comes with a little slit. Let me show you all this palette and it comes with a little slit you can just take right off. This is my second time looking at it for my Instagram stories. I did a little bit of a look-see, look-see, but it's very pretty. It says it's a removable mirror. Can I remove the mirror? I don't want to break the palette. It says it's removable though. It says, it says here and it comes with a removable keep snake mirror. Oh my God, it is removable. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I don't want to break it. So it does come with a removable mirror. This is so fun. I love the removable mirror. This is so cute. And it has her face on the back too. Wow, such a cute packaging. There is beauty and self-expression, it says in it right here. It is how we are discovered and reminded of ourselves with Dress Lucis. I wanted to awaken the artist within you. I want you to celebrate your makeup through expression of color be unapologetically you every single day. I love the message of this brand already. I think it's so gorgeous. And the removable mirror just slides right back on. It's magnetic. I love that. Aww. So I got the mirror right here. And so the palette, the mirror, it's really cute. And you just put the mirror back right on it to, you know, close it up. I think I'll keep the mirror on today. But let's go in with the colors. Do we do swatches? What do you want to see, queens? I think I'm going to do some swatches on my arm. Just a couple of the shades here. But look at all the beautiful shades. It does go all the way back. So you can, like fold it back and I think it's really pretty it is a like cardboard of course most palettes are cardboard which I don't care about I'm happy that they're not this is cardboard it's more eco-friendly but here's the palette Ooh, let's swatch them the shades let me swatch shade Davina or Divina I think it's Davina Ooh, very gorgeous love that one I can use that as highlighter let me shop shade let me swatch shade vibrant 
very gorgeous shade too. And then let's go for this blue. Like this blue is calling me. Very gorgeous. And then the black, you know, if the black in the palette's good, then it's a good palette. So I wanted y'all to see the palette. Oh, so let's see these swatched on my arm. I know arm swatches don't cause, you know, are not the most amazing thing. Oh my gosh. I don't know if y'all can see the Vena on camera, but it is the most gorgeous, beautiful shade. I love the shine. This one, so gorgeous. That one's pigmented. The blue one, here I'm swatching right here. Woo! Pigmented! And then the black, which is extremely pigmented. Look how beautiful these shades are. Got my little makeup wipe right here, honey. Do we want to swatch more? Let's swatch a couple more. Just for, you know, the video, the fun. I don't want to swatch the browns because I feel like they're just brown. I already know they're probably going to perform well. But, like, the yellow and the green right here are definitely going to be swatched. So let's swatch Passion because these, like, more corally shades are a little harder to formulate. And then this one I know is going to be difficult to formulate. Happy, I know this one. This feels different than this one and then this one. They feel a little bit of a different formula or just, like, a different to the touch. The, the, this one's a little bit more creamy. I would say but let me just swatch these oh the pigment and I'm not swatch honestly I'm not swatching hard y'all like the pigment though Th like the pigment yeah let me just swatch this off I will say the vibrant shades a little chunky but I just think that maybe that's because I just swatched it on my hand that's the only one I'll say maybe have a little bit of a fallout to it but the shades look really good hopefully they like really press into the eye really nicely and don't leave any marks but i'm just gonna dip into the palette i think i want to do something i want to do something different she's wearing yellow so let's do something with the yellows i think in the palette actually want to maybe we take a passion how about we do a little bit of light and bella just to set the eyes so we're gonna dip the shade light this like kind of like um just regular sandy shade with a little bit of the shade bella just to set my eyelid real quick and we're just going to take these shades and put it in my crease and just kind of set my eyelid all over with these two shades right here. Light has a little bit of kickback in the pan, which is not shocking. These like lighter shades, definitely going to have a little bit more kickback because they're very light. This adds just the softest color to my eyelids, actually. It looks really pretty, and that just fixed any creasage I had right there. I had a little bit of creasage since the concealer's been on my eyes for a little longer. But very nice shade. It's blended really nice. Kind of blurred my eyes, too, so really like that. I'm going to dip into the brush I did my nose contour with. I know this little brush and I'm going just to dip in the shades off this like pinky shade is really pretty but I think I want to just go bright and I want to do it like we're just going to go for it I'm going to dip into the shade a little I want to do orange it's summer we're going to dip into passion this little shade right here and we're just going to dip this right in my t like right here in the outer edge of my crease oh the pigment that's pigmented babes that is pigmented and I'm just going to take this throughout my crease. And yes, I really am liking this. Very pigmented. I'm actually going to dip into this little more fluffier brush. I just a little bit of blush on it. And just blend it out. Wow. That is blending gorgeously, honestly. I really like the way this is blending out. I'm going to continue blending this shade out. Wow. It's so pretty. I'm going to take a Morphe brush too and continue blending this out. But I'm also really enjoying the way my eye looks. Wow. I'm going to do one eye and another eye off camera. So I should do both eyes at the same time. Let me do the other eye off camera real quick. Like the other like side. And I'll be back and I'll give you my review on this orange shade. Which I'm really liking. I am completely gagged. This shade is the most gorgeous soft pink light shade I've ever used. I'm obsessed. When I tell you I'm obsessed. I am so obsessed. But I'm going to now dip into another shade. I'm going to dip into the shade, this purpley shade, Ditsia. Ditsia, I think. I don't know the shade name, but it's like this beautiful, like, deep purple. And wow, this is gorgeous. I'm obsessed, and I love the little removable mirror. So I'm just going to tap this into the skin right under where I put that pink, that, like, passion shade. And I just dip this in there and we're going to keep building up the shade and deepen the crease and continue building on this color. So I just blended this purple shade and I am just obsessed, everyone. The pigment in this palette is beyond. I just keep adding more purple to deepen this like crease out. But I think I need to add some black in there just to give it a little bit more of a deeper crease. But I'm living. It blended out like a dream. 
I am living. I really am living for this palette. And I love the way it's blending. I don't know on camera how you're going to blend. I Hopefully the camera and the colors are really blending out like in person. The blend looks good. But on camera, I'm like, why? I feel like you can see the lines of blend. So I'm just like, Ugh. But I'm really liking the way it looks. I am. I really am. So I'm actually going to take even a tinier brush like this. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit of the black and a little bit of the purple. Just a tiny bit of purple and I'm just going to you know rub a little bit on my hand just a little bit on the back of my hand so it doesn't get too crazy and we can mix the shade a little bit and so I'm just gonna dip it in right here and I'm gonna add it to my back of the crease the really nice end of the crease to create this beautiful smoky purple look and oh my god oh that was perfect I needed that little bit of that smoky black and I'm going to continue just dipping back and forth between these two shades and just, oh, wow. Y'all, I'm obsessed. I'm living. But what I think I'm going to do now is to have that little black in there. I think I'm going, should I put like the blue on? I feel like I should put the blue on. Hmm. Or should I put unstop? I feel like unstoppable. Let me swatch this shade unstoppable. Mm, it's just a little bit too orange and clashy. I feel like I need something just to brighten it up. So let's put a little bit of this blue on, the grateful blue. Let me just grab a little bit of this grateful blue. Oh yeah, that's going. That's the one. We're gonna put a little bit of that on in the crease, and so let's do that. I'm gonna take a brush, and then if I need to pat it in with my finger, I will. Let me grab my little brush right here. This has a little bit of mm, some dark pigment on it. It's fine. Actually, oh my God, look at this. You can create like this big old palette. But I'm just like, I'm just gonna take a little bit of blue here. But no, so I'm gonna take a little bit of. Let me just take this off real quick. I'm gonna take a little bit of grateful. This beautiful shade and then I'm gonna dab this in my crease should I spray it I think the shade is pretty pigmented on its own so we're just going y'all calm down release the horses <gasps> this is so I mean Becky G and her team did that oh my this blue it's a little it's like oh it's a gorgeous blue. It is literally what I needed for this look. Oh my gosh. Her team really came together and said, we're gonna make the best eyeshadow formula. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, this formula is superb. Some people may not like the glitters because they are a little bit more on the chunkier side, but they are so smooth to blend. Wow, I mean. I'm gonna just blend these shades together in with the blue shimmer, but I mean, y'all are gonna get, I mean, y'all need to get this palette. It's so good. It's only $30, and I mean, the pigment in it is beyond, honestly. I don't know what to say. It's beyond pigmented, and I think this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes from a celebrity makeup guru who's not really, like, Becky G, when I heard her, she's making a makeup palette. I didn't really think, like, I was like, oh, I'm excited and intrigued because I really do enjoy Becky G as a creator and someone who does it, like, you know, a music artist. You know, her Malala Santa album is really good. So good. But I'm actually just going to dip into the shade Davina right here, and I'm going to actually just take a little bit on my eye right now, and I'm just, just, just barely going to dip it into my little, like, creases right here so let's just dip a little bit in of Davina right here okay Davina is really pigmented and she's coming for the girls just to brighten our inner corners wow Davina don't sh Davina mm -mm. Davina came to play wow wow this formula is so pigmented babes y'all were shading this brand so much and she did not come to play I saw so many people like, why is Becky G coming out the makeup brand? It's going to be bad. Y'all really need to rethink what y'all are saying. I would mean a couple other influencers were the only one like giving this palette a chance. She did that. She did that. She did that. Ah. You see the material. The material has spoken. Y'all, this pigment is so good. I'm so happy I got this palette. Wow. I would have... So been upset if I missed this palette, but I'm just gonna blend this blue under my eye. It's so nice. Oh my god, I'm putting a little bit of that glitter under it too, just to give it that like open eye vibe. And then I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of black just to create that smokiness and to connect with the look and a little bit of black. And then to blend the black out, I'm gonna add a little bit of a purple vibe under Ponderosa. And then to tie it all in, 
I'm going to sprinkle the littlest amount of Vibrant, this like golden shade, and I'm just going to dip this right under the eyelid. Yeah, this is my most fun look I've ever done on this channel. Give up, give up, the pigment is sickening. Vibrant is, mm -hmm. the glitters are a little bit more chunky, but I'm obsessed with that. I love a nice chunky glitter. So I'm gonna do the other eye, I'm off camera, and then do my liner, my lashes, my mascara, and I'll come back to you with my final result, but I really am obsessed with this eyeshadow formula. So queens, I'll be right back, I'll see you queens, in just like five seconds, so bam. And we're back, OMG everyone, I just put my lashes, my liner, and you know, I added some little bit of highlight with the shades Davina and is it Davina? I think it's Davina. And Vibrant. And I just think the shades are so gorgeous. I am so obsessed with the Les Lucid Beauty. I think it is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I am just so excited. I can feel Becky G's positive spirit raining down on me. And I'm so excited just to continue using this palette. I'm definitely going to be taking this palette everywhere I go. It has all the shades you need. It literally has every color. The only color I think it's not missing. I don't, honestly, I don't think it's missing any color. The color on here is so gorgeous. You have your nudes. You have your colorful shades. You have your even like weird shades up here. It is so gorgeous. I can't wait to do more looks with this palette. This is the most creative I think I've been in like all 2021. I haven't done a big look like this in a year. And I feel like this palette really got myself back in the vibe of craziness beautiful palette so everyone the review was in this palette is a bop everyone i'm so excited to continue using this it is only 30 dollars. you need to go get this palette it is amazing i really want y'all to get this palette and you queens will fall in love with this palette i mean the retractable mirror is a little difficult to get off but it is amazing and one thing i will say is that shipping for this palette took a little minute but i also just think it's because i got it on launch day and you know they were just shipping out and they're still starting brands so i'll give them that it took me about two weeks for this palette to get here but it was worth the wait because it is so amazing and queens thank you so much for watching this video if you want to recreate the look i did i used the shades light bella passion Dezona, whatever the, the purple shade. I use a little bit of Grateful, Vibrant, and then I use the black shade, and then the pearly white shade named Davina, and I also grabbed a little bit of Ponderosa. I am so grateful for y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Show this to Becky G, y'all. Thank you so much. I'm sending so much love and positivity to your amazing days today, queens. Thank you so much for watching this review. I'll see you queens later. And if you want to watch more videos from me, I have so many more coming out. And there's so many more if y'all have to watch on my channel. So queens, I'll see you queens later. Bye-bye. <laughs>